Hello, in this OpenGL video we're going to show you how to draw GL points. Points, you can think of it essentially as like a block on the screen, a 2D block that you draw. It's just like a point, it's as if you, if you were to get a pen and just touch it onto a piece of paper, obviously, assuming the pen is on, and it creates a dot. You can change the size, so you can think of that having like a, a pen with a bigger tip, and if you touch it down, still only creating one point, but it's just a bigger point. And we'll be covering sizes as well. To create a point, first of all, we need to create a float array, which is going to be the vertex. It only needs one vertex because it's literally just one point. Actually, one thing to mention is this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5, which was drawing quads. If you haven't, some of this code will look a bit alien to, to you. Recommend checking that out and then coming back to this video. So once you're all done with that, it's going to create an array of GL float point vertex. Been creating the array of float in the past couple of videos. I don't know why I was using float instead of GL float. GL float is most likely best, so I'm using GL float now. So you can go back with those videos and just use GL float as well. And the benefit of GL float is, in terms of how much memory it takes, it's unified across different systems whereas let's say in the future or on a different computer with a different architecture if you just use regular flow it, it may take a different amount of memory depending on the sort of processor you've got in there so GL flow just helps to keep it consistent so for this I'm just going to center it in the screen and if we recall we got a screen with a height variable so if we just copy that this is divided by 2 this just makes it dynamic instead of us putting magic numbers in there. Screen height divided by two. And now we can actually draw our OpenGL code. The first thing we've got to do is GL enable client state. In here, we're going to specify GL underscore vertex array. We're just telling OpenGL that we're going to be using a vertex array. As, as with anything, when you enable it, you've got to disable it as well. So if we just copy this, and change enable to disable and all of our OpenGL code for this particular object will go within here next we're going to put GL vertex pointer so this is just pointing to the vertices or the vertex array that we're using the size is going to be 2 and that's because there is there are two pieces of information there's the X position and the Y position. The type is going to be GL underscore float. Destroyed is going to be zero. This just is really only used when you've got an array with multiple vertices and there's a gap between vertices, usually because you've got information such as color, but we don't need to deal with any of that, so we can just put zero. And for the pointer, we literally specify our vertex so we put point vertex that's just pointing to that now next we do gl draw arrays specify the drawing mode and we are drawing in gl underscore points now we specify what vertex we want to start on we want to start on the first one so we put zero aka this one right here there's only one in there and then the count is how many vertices are we going to be using we're only going to be using one simply because we've only got one vertex in there so we can actually run this now as you can see there's a dot there watch what happens when i moved my window the dot moved i just want to illustrate or i want to explain that won't happen on your machine that's just a little bug with my machine and the reason for that is I've sort of done a hack to my iMac which basically allows me to create this really high dense resolution but everything is really big and really crisp basically it's just for the video tutorial but you won't have this issue like I said on your system neither will consumers if you release your game so that switching that I have to do is just down to what I've done to my iMac I just wanted to illustrate that 
So there you go, there's a dot. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see it. It's literally just a dot. It's like if you were to get a pen and go Doo! on a piece of paper. What you can also do is set the dot size or the point size. And you just put GL point size. For this, I'm just going to put 50 semicolon. You can put this literally anywhere as long as it goes before the GL drawer arrays. You can go after the vertex pointer, but if it goes after the drawer arrays, it won't affect this drawer arrays core. It will affect any other cores that it can correspond to, but nothing beforehand. So if we just rerun this now, let's just move it a bit, and there we go, we've got our point in the middle. As you can see, it is a square. You might be thinking, what if you want to draw multiple points? Easily done. Just create another float array. I'm going to call this point vertex 2. Um, in terms of positioning, I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to leave it centered in the y axis, but for the x axis, we'll do time 0 0.75 so this is going to be three quarters along and next we can literally copy and paste a lot of this code so if we just copy that geo enable clients dead geo vertex array point size we're going to set this to 10 so so you can see we have individual point sizes the vertex pointer we need to set that to 2 and now we can actually run this So let's just move this about. As you can see, we have a little square in the middle and a little square off to the right. I'm actually going to increase the size a bit. Put this one at 200. Set this at 50. So you can just see a little better. Oh, that's really big. So there you go. We got our big point and our little point right there. Let's just show you what happens if I just comment this out so we've only got the one GL point size as you can see it's cascaded down so putting it within the GL enable client state doesn't really do anything I'll just put it there so it's with the code that we want it to affect so let's just comment this uncomment it out the last thing we're going to show you is smoothing because at the moment if you look at our points they're squares but perhaps you want them to be circular to do that really simple just enclose the points that you want to make a circle in gl enable gl enable not enable i and this you just specify gl underscore point underscore smooth just do gl disable as we usually do and for this we just specify what we're disabling and that's gl underscore point underscore smooth now if we run this move it and as you can see we have a circle point now instead of a square point and the other point is a square because we've enabled it here and disabled it here we've disabled it before it hits the next drawing code for the next point so that's how you draw points with GL point in OpenGL, really simple stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and hit that subscribe button because it does really help us. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.